we are asked to simplify each expression completely. The first expression is negative five plus 2.9 times the quantity dx minus two. The first step is to clear the parentheses by distributing. Because we have plus 2.9 times the quantity dx minus two, we distribute positive 2.9. This gives us negative five plus 2.9 times x minus 2.9 times two. Well, 2.9 times x is 2.9x, and 2.9 times two is 5.8. This expression simplifies to negative five plus 2.9x minus 5.8. And now we combine the like terms. The constant terms at negative five and negative 5.8 are like terms. If it's helpful, we could write this subtraction as addition. Subtracting 5.8 is equivalent to adding negative 5.8. So again, only if it's helpful, we can rewrite this as negative five plus 2.9 x plus negative 5.8. Whether we perform the calculation negative five minus 5.8 or negative five plus negative 5.8, the result is negative 10.8, giving us the simplified expression of negative 10.8 plus 2.9. But it is more common to have the variable term first. This expression is equivalent to 2.9x, and then instead of plus negative 10.8, it's more common just to write minus 10.8, which is equivalent. So either of these last two expressions would be correct, but the expression with the variable term first would be the more common way to express the simplified expression. For the next example, we have negative three times the quantity three x plus 2.5 plus seven. Again, the first step is to clear the parentheses by distributing negative three. This gives us negative three times three x plus negative three times 2.5 plus seven. Negative three times three x is negative nine x. Then we have plus Negative three times 2.5 is negative 7.5. And then we have plus seven. Again, the two constant terms are like terms. Negative 7.5 plus seven is equal to negative 0.5. This simplifies to negative nine x plus negative 0.5. But instead of leaving this as plus negative 0.5, it's more common to write the equivalent subtraction problem, which is negative nine x minus 0.5. Subtracting 0.5 is equivalent to adding negative 0.5. For the last expression, we have the quantity 5x minus 1.7 minus eight times the quantity x minus six. The first step is to clear the parentheses. If it's helpful, we can think of a one here, but notice distributing one is not going to change anything. Because we have minus eight times the quantity x minus six, we distribute negative eight. The reason for this is because subtracting eight is equivalent to adding negative eight. So if we want to, we could rewrite this as the quantity five x minus 1.7 plus negative eight times the quantity x minus six. If we wanted to, the quantity x plus negative six. We normally don't show this step here, we just think of this as negative eight and this as negative six. So distributing positive one here doesn't change anything. That gives us five x minus 1.7. And now distributing negative eight, negative eight times x is negative eight x. Instead of writing plus negative eight x, it's more common just to write minus eight x, which is equivalent. And then we have negative eight times negative six, which is positive 48, which gives us plus 48. And now we combine like terms. Notice in this expression we have two x terms and we have two constant terms. Five x minus eight x is equivalent to five x plus negative eight x, which gives us negative three x. And negative 1.7 plus 48 is equal to 46.3, giving us plus 46.3. This is the simplified expression. I hope you found this helpful.